That's Bill. Oh yeah, and that's Will. And today on the Bill and Will Show, we are t like, comment, subscribe below, people. Don't forget that we need that. We're gonna talk about um, uh, speaking to existence, speaking speaking things into existence. Mr. Howard, Ed Howard, um, first round draft pick of the Cubs. We had the the MLB draft. Yeah, I don't know. He he texted me the MLB draft. MLB I'll draft. A lot of pitchers. A lot of pitchers, man. Woo. And let me say this, man. The Atlanta Braves, they had one of the best pitching staffs in all of baseball for many years. Greg Maddox. Maddox. Uh, now I was on tip of my I was ready to talk about it. Now it's slipping. Age. Age, age, man. But they had they had four pitches in their rotation that was hard to beat, man. And oh. none of those guys was thrown in the hundreds. Mm-mm. They start getting these guys thrown into the hundreds. Oh, they thought that was something special. But those guys don't last long. They end up with elbow injuries. Tommy John. They end up with, with shoulder injuries. They end up with all these different surgeries, and they don't last long. But the pitches that I think are the best are, are control pitches, pitching around that 85 to 90 range, somewhere in there, 88, 87, 86. Those pitches, they last a long time because they don't tear up their arm. And they got some pitches right here, man. And this Ed Howard, first round pick. Hey, this guy, we seen him as, as a 12, 13 year old on the uh, Omaha Little League World Series. And then you see him this uh, today, and he got drafted by the Cubs. So his dream as a little kid, when, uh, when they interviewed him, I want to play in the big leagues, to see him now get drafted by the first round by the Cubs. Speaking things into existence, Gibson, he always said he wanted to play. How come the kids can go from, from, high, from high school to the pros in baseball, but they can't do it in football? White man old baseball. I'm joking, because I don't know. It's just the rules. The man. CBAs is what, is what people uh, agree on is with the CBAs in, in each sport. That's it. Because mm. everybody, white, white, white people own every league. So get that. Don't, don't try to make it about that. It's not about that. Um, do you believe in speaking the things into existence? I believe that. Whatever it is you want to do in life, you got to put it out there. And then you got to focus on it. And it's not going to happen just because you said it. You got to put some work behind it. You got you to roll your sleeves up and put your hands on that plow and go get it. But if, if you want to become president, if you want to go to the league, if you want to become a doctor, speak it into existence. Do it. Um, to see Ed Howard in the, in, the M, in the MLB, to see him drafted first, it took a lot. Uh, baseball isn't a sport that you see many African Americans play, especially from urban America. Um, it's expensive, first of all. Um, we just don't play baseball for some reason. I think a big reason why is because it's so expensive and they make it that way. Um, yeah, that's one reason. And the other reason is because baseball, you need, a, you need room. So if you're growing up in the in inner city, there is no room. So you got to do something different. But if you growing up in the rural areas, you can play baseball. But uh, that's one reason. It's expensive. Balls, gloves, shoes, socks, uniforms, the league, you know, the elementary league or whatever it is you're going to, it costs. And then you need room to play. Um, yeah, man, I just like to see. I, I love the uh, Little League World Series. And then just because mm -hmm. you can see these kids, and their passion, and then maybe four or five years later, you can see them get drafted by the Cubs. You know what I mean? And you just see the smile on their faces, how much fun they had at Little League World Series. You can just, it's, it's, it's a great league. Little League World Series is one of the it's, best it's things really going nice, right yeah. now. Yeah. You know, so I just wanted to give him a shout out, man, because he deserves it. Um, man, keep on smiling. Let's keep on seeing them dimples, man. Uh, keep on fighting for what you want, man. But those, those, those non-paid leagues, those are the best sports to watch because those people are playing for the love of the game. It's not about money. It's not about endorsements. It's I love this game. And when you see people playing for that reason, that's where you get the best games. The Olympics, uh, the in, in, uh, college, March Madness is what I'm trying to think of. March Madness, that's the Olympics. Man, these guys are playing for free, man, and they want to win. And, that's man, that's just the passion and the love for the game right there. And then people making money off them people in the NCAA. Yeah, but man. the players, they're not making nothing. They playing for fun. They playing saying, for what, free. What I'm saying is that's free labor, Gibson. We don't care. I, I, don't, I ain't. I'm against. It. I'm a sports fan. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people out there like you. I just want to see the purity of the game. That's what I so want. So in see. college, if you put money into college basketball, he gonna hate it. If you put college, if you put money into college football, 
we going to more a lot of people are like him are going to start to hate it because you take away that pureness of it. I can understand that. You got seniors and guys that's going to the NFL. They've played their three years. They don't want to play in the bowl game because they don't want to get hurt because they're going to get drafted to the NFL or whatever. I mean, that, see, now you t you're taking away the period of the game. I understand. Texas could have won a national championship against Alabama. I don't know why you're doing all of that. What you lose over there? You want me to help you find it after the show? Texas could have won a national championship against Alabama. But guess what? You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to go there. Go ahead. I'm, 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 that's all I wanted to give. I wanted to give uh, Ed Howard his flowers today, man. That's all. Congratulations, and, Ed. And Number every, one draft. And everybody else that came from that Little League World Series, um, what do you call that? That farm Little League World. If you played in the Little League World Series, you know what, how that feeling. It's an amazing event, so I hope they keep on putting that event um, on. And to all the ones that were drafted in this year's draft that played in that Little, World, Little League World Series, man, they promoted. Congratulations. Yeah. That's Bill. That's Will. Continue to watch Bill and Will show. Like, comment, subscribe below.